These are cucumbers. Once you pick them from the garden, they last in your refrigerator for about a week before they start to rot. These are jars of pickles, made from cucumbers and other vegetables. Once you open them and let air in, they'll last for up to six months without going bad. Unopened, they'll last for almost forever. To find out about the science that makes this possible, we visited the Brooklyn Brian Pickle Factory in Brooklyn, New York. Every week, its owner, Seamus, turns 7,000 pounds of cucumbers and also beets and beans and carrots and fennel into long-lasting pickles. People started making pickles hundreds of years ago, so they could eat produce from their gardens all year long, even in winter. Previous to our, our modern society of you know, electricity and trains and cars and being able to transport things around, really you're faced with, this is our crop for the year, how are we going to preserve it? Seamus says pickles are science and art. Here's how the science works. Fresh, perfect cucumbers are chopped and set aside. Miguel chops seasonings like chili peppers to give the cucumbers flavor. How spicy, sweet, and sour they are is part of the art part. Liz measures sea salt to mix with apple cider vinegar and water to make brine. In Dutch, the word for brine is pekel, which is where we get the word pickle. Brine has a high acid content, and acid kills bacteria. Those are the organisms that grow on food that can make you sick. They are also part of what causes food to rot. Chalice's special mix of spices like mustard seeds and coriander seeds are put in glass jars with the chili. Randy adds chopped dill to the jar, more of the art part. Then he and Miguel add sliced cucumbers. There's a special way of packing them into jars so they all get completely covered with brine. That's important. If the cucumbers aren't completely covered with brine, they're exposed to air. If they're exposed to air, they start to rot. We know if we stay uh, below this, where the jar starts curving the neck of it, that it will match the, the food science end of it, the certain solid to water ratio that we need with it. Hot brine is poured in and the jars are sealed, and about 60 of them are placed inside these giant steam kettles, where water is boiling at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooking kills more bacteria and infuses the cucumbers with flavors of brine, dill, and chilies. Finally, Elena pulls the jars out with special panning tongs. They have secure grips so the jars don't slip. The handles are heat resistant so Elena doesn't burn her hands. Shavis cools the jars to stop the cooking so the cucumbers stay crisp. Cooling also makes the rubber inside the lids constrict and seal tight, so no air can get in. Seamus cools his pickles with giant fans. This is part of a half-sour pickle, which somebody has already been nibbling. How sour do you think it is? Is it chewy or crunchy? Don't you want to try one right now?